Good morning, AB Stars. I'm Cameron. And I'm Annie. We are your Wednesday AB TV anchors. Today is Wednesday, November 15th. And it's a C2 day for our special area classes. There is no yearbook club after school with Mrs. Kellerman. Please be sure your parents know that they don't need to pick you up. Ms. Flandermeyers and Ms. Trueblood's kids are coming around and picking up your recycling bins. Be sure to put your bins outside your doors for them. Thank, Thank you. you. Today's fun fact is about dogs. Yay, I love dogs, so what's the fact? The sense of smell of a dog is 10,000 to 100,000 times better than humans. Wow, so I better keep plates of cookies I bake away from the counter, otherwise my dog will get it. Yeah, good idea. Our lucky birthday stars are Rebecca Fair and Tracy Pierce. On Wednesday of Thanksgiving break, it's Denia Wynn's birthday as well. Happy birthday, stars! Go down to the office after the show to get your birthday goodies from Mr. Pennington. Enjoy your special day. For lunch today, we will be having pancakes with sausage links, spaghetti with meatballs, and garlic toast, or a specialty shaker. Our sides will be seasoned cubed potatoes and celery sticks. Sounds great. We have a joke for you from Jude in Mrs. Pennell's class. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? Are you an owl? <laughs> That's a funny joke, Jude. Remember, if you have a good joke, write it down neatly with your name and your teacher's name on it. And put it in the joke box by the, by the TV studio. If the joke is a good one, you might hear it on the show. Well, it's time to hand it over to our pledge leaders. Mr. Reese sent some of his amazing sixth graders our way to lead the pledge. Over to, to you, you guys. guys. Thank you, anchors. Good morning and happy Wednesday, ABE Stars. I have a few quick announcements to make. Um, first off, our wishing wall of stars. Remember to please fill out the permission slip if you would um, like to be able to get a star. So you can purchase new items that are listed on the stars in the lobby, place the items in a grocery bag, and securely tie the star onto the item or the bag, and bring the item to school and place in a container under the wishing wall by Monday, December 11th. Thank you so much to Mrs. Simonson for her leadership and hard work on the Wishing Wall of Stars. I'd like to also let you know that in the lobby you'll find two boxes for the Souls for Souls. It's a scout service project and it's a place where you can recycle your gently used shoes. Dream Box, I just want to give a, a quick um, statement of encouragement to Ms. Neednoggle's classroom because they are finishing up participation in a dream box challenge with thousands of other classrooms across the US and this Friday at 11:59 p.m. that competition ends and so I look forward to sharing on Friday or maybe even next Monday uh, the results of that competition shout out to Miss Powell's first grade class they have been demonstrating excellent behavior for the last week boys and girls keep up the great work we know that you can do it stay tuned after the announcements for uh, Mrs. James' class leading us in a song on habit number five. You are Amy Beverly and Stars. You're brave, brilliant, beautiful, and I believe in you. Now to our pledge leaders. Hi, I'm Connor. Hi, I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Abel. Hi, I'm Taylor. Hi, I'm Riley. Hi, I'm Abby. Please, Please rise, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, ABE. In our classroom, we're talking about habit five, leader and me, seek first to understand, then to be understood. I've been in Lawrence Township my whole life, and when I heard about this habit, it reminded me of a song I sang at Forest Glen when I was a student there. So I taught it to the class, and we're here to share it with you today. Thank you. 